school. Some people will say, oh, no, he's been sold out. It remains to be seen. Yesterday, somebody took a visual of Jay-Z, Beyonce, and their daughter, Blue Ivy, and they were sitting down. I'm going to play this little episode of this, and we'll talk about it. Somebody got that angle. Jay-Z, once again, his wife, Beyonce, and his daughter, Blue Ivy, sitting down, doing a national anthem. Now, um, a lot of people, obviously, are disgusted, totally disgusted with this. A couple of um, news people and whatnot are speaking out. You know, I forget that lady's name, but um, she's speaking out. People are putting articles out. People are saying, Jay-Z, this is very disrespectful that you will not stand for your country's national anthem. Sam, man, your thoughts on this? What happened to the halftime show where he was supposed to be going to change uh, the social media? They went there on him. I'm sorry. Listen. Um, not good there, though. <laughs> I'm, it's like, that's cool. You were just on Colin Kaepernick. When you said the nailing is done, we're over nailing, we're past nailing, we have to do more. We listen. This was in the beginning of the season when we found out you were on board with the NFL and a lot of questions were being raised in regards to even Colin Kaepernick, his, um, his uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Protest. His protest mm-hmm. against the NFL for police brutality and injustices within our cities and our communities in particular, the black and brown people, you told him nailing was over, yet... You sit, and I'm not mad at y'all for sitting. Right. Great gesture. But are we going to follow this up with a statement? Are we going to follow this up with some action? Or are we just going to play good for the cameras for a little bit? The cameras are starting to fuck me up a little you bit. You ain't oh, see God. commercial though that he had? The Jay put up there. In the third quarter? <laughs> the right boys, after man. I saw the 15 minutes <laughs> of them telling us we will appreciate our flag. We will love our flag. I think they had, I forgot who they had narrating the joint, but they they really put on the show to let us know. I, I I was I seen the message very clear as a black man sitting in my home on that day that you will not disrespect our flag. We will crack the whip on you and if I you disrespect it. our flag. I, I get it though, Colin Sam, man, because for some people, that flag, I mean, we even had people, you know, our grandfather up on the wall. God rest his soul. There, yes, was I'm a Marine. You know, he he fought for his country, he was proud, proud to put a uh, American flag over his casket. And you got endless people. That have fought for this country and live for the principles that's it's supposed to be, you know, um, laid upon this country. And some people take it, I think, as an insult when people don't stand and salute the fact that this is what this country was built on. But there's also a group of people in this country who have been in this country who have had, um, I should say, real, real indifferent treatment, different type of treatment. And they have a right, I think, in my opinion, to, um, you know, protest that, you know, if they if you were put somewhere or you were somewhere and it's not right for you, you're dealing with discrimination and racism and things are not on an even playing field as it would be just because of your color of your skin. You have the right, in my opinion, to protest that. Now, as far as Jay-Z, I mean, you said you watched with Shakira and J-Lo. Mm-hmm. He was supposed to be taking over the halftime show. They had that one commercial. I guess you can kind of clap it up for that, but with um, yeah, Anquan Bolton, right, mm-hmm. right. But I think they also, and I have to find, I find the article. He got the police union to pledge about a hundred, or the NFL the police union to uh, pledge about a hundred million, you know, um, to, to his cause or something like that. So he's doing a little bit. Obviously, I, I don't want to, you know, um, come down too hard on nah, Jay right to, now. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, it's one of those things where. It's, it's early. It's very early in the situation. But as far as them not standing for the flag, I mean, I, I wouldn't expect it. I you wouldn't know, expect them to. I saw this early last night. Obviously, you've seen the same exact thing. And I, in, in my mind, I'm like, all right, it's a slow night. I would love to get people some news. This will be a great story to talk about. But as I was sitting here thinking, I'm like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to feel. I don't even know if I care enough to give the people um, a decent amount of commentary to this. And then as I thought, and I sat back and gave it a day, I was like, all right, this would be a perfect thing to do on a podcast. It's like, what do you, Mm -hmm. do you think that Jay-Z deserves to give a statement behind this or is it just cool, just him sitting down and having people talk about it? And is he going to sit down at the boxing event when Deontay Wilder and Fury fight? Is he going to sit at that anthem? Is he going, is this something that he's going to make a trend? Is he going to speak on it? Why is what is his protest now? Because like you said, a lot of people are upset. You got your people that really care. You got your people that really don't. And we know that Jay-Z walks in that fine line between both of those people, both of those groups of people being on the corporate line and being on the line for Marcy Projects, mm-hmm. more so on the corporate line in 2020 than 
um, Marcy, but do you think that he is eventually, if this continues to go further, are we going to understand and know what exactly Jay-Z and his family is protesting? Is it the same cause as Colin Kaepernick? If so, what's next? I, I mean, that's, I wish I knew. Yeah. Well, so the answers to that question with Jay, I think Jay, you know, first of all, I don't think he would address it. He maybe want a song or something like that. But um, as much as as much as I want to go in, I want to give him time because I've listened to his message for countless years now, and even though I don't agree with every single one of the things that he got his hands in. Mm-hmm. I can see his message being consistent with one that's going to protest. I mean, we see him with Yo Gotti yep. trying to, you know, go into the prisons to do stuff. You see, um, you know, him using his platform now, moving away from music, but now taking it, you know, to the political arena, putting money, getting billionaires and, and, and people behind that cause. That's why it's hard for me to really say, oh, you know, Jay Z getting he got in bed with him, this, that, and the third. Yeah. I got, I want to give it time to play out. Now, when that time comes, though, I don't have no problem with you know giving them some body work. You know, what I mean, Jay Z and say, no, dog, you know, you did this wrong, you sold the people out. But I think it's too early right now, you know, to do that. I see him trying to do something, and it's not easy. I mean, you you, you look at people, um, a lot of people died, yeah, got killed, you know, assassinated yeah. Yeah. for trying to you know, um, move issues for, for a particular group of people. So we shall see. It's a whole different thing now. None of these guys had the money that Jay-Z had, the power or influence. I ain't gonna say influence, but at least the money yeah. stick there that Jay-Z has right now. And um, so we're going to see, it's going to be interesting in the next few years to see how this goes down. Oh God, I have to agree with you. I think that Jay-Z's intent, um, I'm not going to sit back and, and give criticism or sit back and, and totally dismiss him. All right. For, for moves that I may question out of a million moves that I think are great. I'm not going to do that. Um, and I don't mind the criticism even in doing that. I, I, I think that Jay-Z right now is putting himself in a position, obviously, with a, a lot of power financially to do some change. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt to sit back and let it play out. Because as we know, even to get to this point, to get to this set, to get to this building, it took just a, a belief and a thought. And then that thought had to evolve and and, and mature into something greater, no different than a plan. And the plan, like like we need out here, the the, the type of uh, change that we need out here is going to involve time. So I'm going to give Jay-Z that time to sit back and really see how the pieces fall out before I totally denounce him. I'm, I'm not denouncing him. I got faith in Jay-Z that he's going to be doing the right thing. Yeah, he's, I'm going to read about the the, um, the Players Coalition. That's what I was talking about before, just to give a little bit of clarification to one of the things that he has his hand in. It said the Players Coalition was formed at the height of the national anthem protest last year. Negotiations between the league and players resulted in the NFL's promise to donate $100 million to charities and organizations that support law enforcement relationships with communities, criminal justice reform, and education reform. Um, among some of the things, they're going to be um, launching some grants in, African, in the African-American community. You know, um, they're going to be dealing with economics trying to, you know, build that up with the education, economics, things like that. So um, that, that I think that's huge. You know, also, you know, Eric Reed, Malcolm Jenkins, as well as some other uh, NFL players are behind this, you know, as well. So it's something, you know, I mean, it's not the end all be all. But I think that, you know, if the NFL, the NBA and all these different um, big companies are getting people from the inner cities, that are helping them, you know, um, build up their wealth. I think the only thing, the fair thing to do is to give back to see that that infrastructure that you're, you know, siphoning and sucking all the money and getting rich off of, that you give back to that infrastructure. Whatever.